because they reject it. Even the priests would not be before me, for they have forgotten the law. And I will forget thy children also. Okay? And if I miss a word, forgive me. What I'm stressing on is this. There's a lot of knowledge out there for you young men to get. And you all are getting it at a very, very rapid pace. Right now you have so many things coming at you so much right now. I'm sure you don't know how to stand. And if I ask you who you are, if I ask you something about your history, tell me something about Africa. Tell me something about East Africa. Tell me something about West Africa. Matter of fact, tell me the definition of black. <coughs> what would you tell me? Really, if I say, well, give me your definition of black, what would you say? United. 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 All right, be a little bit more specific. That's broad. I understand where you're coming from. We work together to get to where we are now. Like in the past, we all work together to have a better future. Okay. So you're looking at black in the sense of, 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 of unity, a, a collective work, people coming together, doing certain things. What's your definition of black? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in the context of color, uh, it's the darkest color, of course. Uh, okay. In the context of skin, presence of a lot of melanin, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it's a, in the context of civilization, uh, one of the most intelligent civilizations. All right. What is melanin? Melanin is a chemical that you can see in the dark and the skin cell. Put that on the call, okay, and come back to you. What's your definition of that? Um, my definition of that is... <coughs> Don't be afraid. Whatever comes to your mind, whatever you feel it is. Don't think about what he said or what that young man said. What do you feel? Being successful. Being successful. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Give me, give me something a little more specific. Break it down for me. Being, being successful how? Being successful how? Um, or being successful to Are you looking at success like dollar signs? Okay, wonderful. How are you looking at it? I'm looking at it like cars and things. Make some of yourselves. There you go, being creative. Wonderful. What's your definition of that? Uh, okay. My definition of black is like our original. Uh, it's like the essence out which everything derived from. That's the way everything is derived from, which is a connection to that metal. metal. It's a direct connection. <clears throat> now, the reason I'm saying that is, and I'm very glad to hear each and every one, that, one of you being a leader in which you are, because none of you gave, like, the same definition of what black is. Like, well, I'm just going to say what he's going to say, like you may see in class. I, I'm supposed to say the same thing and she was going to say. No, you each had a definition of that. Now, what I will tell you is keep that definition of it because the root of it, when you go back, as I tell people, when you think about words, when we talk about law, let, let's go back to Hosea 4 6. If our people are being destroyed for a lack of this information, which is our information in the first place, you know, I just have to put it, but why, why I say our history of the information, because when we're talking about black history, right, we're talking about something right now that's becoming a mystery, right? We're talking about something to where as, back when our ancestors was teaching about the elements of the earth, Gea, Newt, Ra, Shu, the air, Shu. A lot of the elders in here used to hear the parents say, shoot, get away from it, shoot. Not knowing that was an actual term coming back when we was learning, you know, when he was sent to learn 
as a young man to go through your uh, 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 um, rites of passage, you see. Just like when Christ was born at the age of 18, only to be seen again at the age of 30, where was he at? He was learning. He was getting that knowledge. Because you're at that age now of information. <coughs> you're at that age now of influence. But you have to be careful on what is influencing you. Now, mm. you all like to play games. I like to play games. When I came up, we had Atari. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. We had the Ataris and the Nintendos. But we was happy with it. Now you all have something that's far more advanced to bring you back to this very information that they're keeping out of schools. Right? You're not going to hear about Ra. They'll say Ray, and they'll give it to you in a Hancock movie, and they'll show the Falcon and the Sun and come across the pineal gland, which is mm -hmm. activated by the melanin. Let me say it again. Remember seeing the movie Hancock? Yeah. Played by Will Smith? Yeah. And see, Will Smith has been playing some powerful roles. I Am Legend. I, Robot. Where they talked about the law. And the three laws. See, I'm saying it because the same way you all have a different definition of black. Okay? The same way... These are different avenues, different angles of light, different avenues of opportunity to be resurrected and learn as a young man. The same way Christ had to go and learn from the age of 18 to be sent to become a Sarah, a son of light. A son of light. To be a Sarah. Now, when you go back in history, that was the right of everyone from the Greeks to the Romans, the Persians, to send their children to the first universities called Timbuktu, St. Cordy, going to Ghana to learn the same knowledge. Now, if we can read in the passage that <laughs> this type of knowledge is destroying us because we're being because it's being rejected. Not that it's not available. It doesn't state that it's not available. It's being rejected. So what will make you reject life? This is what our ancestors taught. I see the brothers talk about some of the brothers coming from the craft. And how when they got enlightened with this information, they took it with everything that they was doing in their life. And you see why so many people adored them. Because that light was shining from them with what they had. When you look at E.B. Du Bois, look at his contribution. And his stance and why he moved to Ghana and why he stayed in his stance. I want you to research. Because you all, we, we're in a whole different age right now. See, y'all can just pull this thing up called a cell phone and pull it right up. As a judge would say when it comes to the law. And I'm going I'm to bring all this into play. This is a law dictionary. This is a small version. This is what they wait to use for you all as soon as you get in trouble in school right now and start building a profile from you. Behind the same thing called the law. That's why it's good enough for you to get it right now as the young leaders that you are. See, when I asked the brother how many of young men would be here, he said, well, maybe two, maybe 20. But we both agree numbers doesn't matter. And then as the elder said, if we just get one, that's all we need, because from one comes many. See, what's the difference between you and a young Chinese youth? Okay? Or a young Asian youth when it comes to science and mathematics when we <coughs> are the teachers of all of this. 
if we go back to history, split it in half, his story, who's telling the story? Okay? If I tell you all you did, as they say right here, that slavery was established by decree, read that, that statement for me, young man. Let, let me get, get y'all involved. Read, read that one for me. Slavery was established by a decree of Almighty God. It is sanctioned by the, in the Bible. Jefferson Davis. By who? Jefferson Davis. Now who was Jefferson Davis? Confederate president. Okay. You see, we got work to do right. Who was he? He was the president of the Confederacy of the South. Exactly. Before, before in the 1700s. 1700s. Before exactly. The Civil War. And, and I appreciate that. See, again, we're talking about knowledge now. Mm -hmm. And the lack of it. And you see why they have us in the prison systems right now so you all don't get activated up here. All right? They want you to stay ignorant. My people will be destroyed or perish for a lack of it. Now, when something is destroyed, ain't no return. Please. The second one. I would say then that I am not, nor ever have been, in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the white and black races. That I am not, nor even have been, in favor of making voters or jurors or Negroes. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Now let's pause right there for a minute. And I do apologize, brother, for not having the picture. But if you will pull up. Um, the actual flyer that you made, it'll show an actual picture of Abraham Lincoln from the Library of Congress. And one thing that you would notice that most people say, well, oh, he's a little darker. He's a little darker. Because again, as they used to say in the old uh, TV shows, <coughs> the mind is a terrible thing to waste. This is what they want to control. So this is why when we're talking about knowledge and history and how important your genes are, if you write the word genes and is, you put it together, you get Genesis. And that's why Genesis is the book of the beginning to tell you your history. As people begin to learn the information, the knowledge from us, they begin to make the connection, they begin to play around with it. So the same way right now that there's code and ordinances to keep you trapped and keep us trapped, there were codes and codings to keep the knowledge hidden from you. Now, what's the difference hidden this knowledge or the knowledge that um, something that uh, uh, Jay-Z may be rapping about? Mm. Or Kanye may be rapping about. If you're not understanding this, what makes you think you understand that? Now, for some of you who did not understand melanin, what makes him understand that and you don't have it in understanding? It's a problem. Why? Because somebody's trying to shut down your light. Somebody's trying to shut down your power. When I ask you, tell me something about Tupac. Other than a bandana wrapped around his head and him going thug, thug. Right? But he even described to the people what a thug was. It's not what they wanted the thug to be. His definition of thug was about someone resurrecting, coming out of the ghetto, and making it to where he was. And they knew that. And guess what else they knew? They knew the type of knowledge that he was getting to show you the works that people have done in the past. And the sacrifice they made to contribute for you in their own works, whether being a writer, a judge, a boxer, a comedian, 
Brother, I would love to come and show the skit from 7 to 7 on Richard Pryor when he was showing them when they went into the pyramids and they started seeing images like this. How we originated martial arts. This is the origin of martial arts right here. See, when you're fascinated and looking at Dragon Ball Z, let, let me share it and show you how people will take something out of your culture and throw it right in your face. With Dragon Ball Z, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? You have? You have? Yeah. You have? You have? Okay. Tell me something about Dragon Ball Z. Let, let, let's, let's enlighten you. At least y'all know what he's talking about. I ain't never heard of it. Ball, <laughs> Ball of life. That's a lot of power, right? Go ahead. Yeah, you know, the power of... Yeah, the power of something. Let me hear from you, young man. Yeah, it's been a minute. It came out my mouth, really. But uh, he drew his energy from the world around him. And when he came into his power, he turned into a big ape. <clears throat> Say that one more time. He drew his energy from the world around him. He drew the energy from the world around him. This is why our ancestors taught the concepts. When you understand the concepts of light, when you understand the elements, this is why those in their craft, like earth, wind, and fire, mm -hmm. the elements, when Stephen Wonder was telling you, there are superstitions, writings on the wall. He was letting you know the origin of where it's coming from about you. For you to feel powerful. When Richard Pryor showed that skit in 77, when they went and saw the Book of Life and different elixirs and talked about M. Hotel. Who was the, uh, 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 the, the medicine, the, the, the man of, of healing, and the, the first one to uh, do brain surgery and everything, who Hippocrates studied 2,500 years later. He's your original father of medicine, who the Greeks worshipped as a god. When you see the stethoscope right now, when you walk into the doctor's office, just say M Hotel. He was the one who built the first steel step pyramid when you go before and be in the composition. Before uh, the, the, before Ra. As they were saying in Genesis, when Jacob stood in, in the land of, uh, of Pineal, you would see the hieroglyphs. You would see the hieroglyph for his hands was halted upon his staff. For he saw God face to face, and you will see the sun rays hitting him in his pineal gland to be resurrected. They say, for he saw God face to face. You will see the hieroglyph. You will see him standing erect. You will see that sunlight, that power that Dragon Ball Z would use. Now, how would he get his power? What he, would he do to draw his power from the elements of the universe? He would raise his hands up. He would, raise, he would do what? Raise his hands up and look towards the sun. Mm, 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 mm. Say that one more time, my brother. He would raise his hands up and look towards the sun. See? Okay. Again, this is what we've been teaching since the dawn of time. It was something that you would be a part of as you would grow up. 
says, you, if you a child of the Most High, you don't stop just because you get older. You're just an adult child of the Most High at that time. You're the wise one. You have to teach. You have to listen. So you don't be of the ones who are destroyed or perished. Because all we got to look to do is turn on the news right now. See, just like Tupac said, I ain't forget him, and came back. What they were afraid of Tupac was the knowledge that he started getting at the age of nine. At the age of nine. He had an FBI file on him at the age of nine. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, when you grow up around elders, you learn a lot when you listen. You ever heard of Shaquille O'Neal? You ever heard of Colton? Right? See, everybody had somebody to look up to. You never seen Shaq or heard Shaq say, I want to be like Michael Jordan because he's a sinner. He want to be like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, pioneers of the game, greats who were good at their craft. So as he learned, as Kobe learned, as Jordan said, well, I want to be like Dr. J. So if you want to be great, you got to learn from the great. You got to do as the great. You want to be a champion, you got to put in the work. It's not about pumping your thumbs on remote control. Because guess what? Something's controlling your mind to put it there because it's coming from your mind in the first place. If you can remember how to do a move right now with two thumbs and a right on the joystick, then tell me you can't remember X equals MC squared or any type of algebraic equation. Hmm. When it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. I want you to pull up on YouTube. By Rock Kim. Now Rock Kim is an artist from back in the day who has always called himself a God MC. And he's never came out with any of these crazy songs you hear now putting the women down and being vogue in his music, yet made number one hits and people have used his music over and over and over. But I want you to pull up one of his songs saying, Holy Are You. And it's telling you about who you are. Just like if you go and read Psalms 82 right now. It'll tell you to stand up and be the God that you are. Or you will fall and be a one of the princes. But you got to do some work. You got to feed the poor and the needy and help those of the wicked and get them out of the hands of the wicked. See, we have work to do when it comes to you all, you know what I mean? See, we just sit back. And, and just leave you out here and not knowing any type of law? If you're not listening and learning to be of the great, like, did you know this, this man right here invented the, 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 uh, the press machine to get your clothes clean when you people see people going to the cleaners? Anybody ever heard of the song, where we're moving on up, George Jefferson? There you go. There you go, right there. Great minds. Now, he wasn't always an adult, okay? He was a youth as well. See, again, sometimes you forget that. That we, we help us. You have to help us understand. You have to come to us so we can show you your greatness of what other people have stolen from you in your legacy. They have stolen your legacy. They stolen your signs, your symbols, your images, and turned it right around. And let me tell you something else Dragon Ball Z does. Y'all see the connection all of this? Why it's important for them to keep y'all minds full? And why it's important for y'all to be involved with brothers of the Pythagoras? Thanks to the Pythagoras, what you're doing right now to learn? See, you already setting yourself apart 
from being a leader as opposed to one just being a follower. See, when I can take this Raharak tape and say, well, let me show you what Harley Davidson did. That they put the wings right there, but then they put their symbol in the middle. Let me show you what Stanky Shakes have done to do the same thing to steal your imagery. To steal your imagery. And see how creative they're getting? They'll throw the wings up in the middle, put another symbol in there, and you'll ride and go there and eat there and everything, and you will never know. It's yours. This is your history. A lot of people say things about Carter G. Wilson. Oh, they don't, they don't even know what started off as Negro History Week in 1926 in Chicago. That later became Black History Month. Now, we all know it's hard to let you know about you in a month when you're living it every day. <clears throat> the same way I'm sitting there trying to tell you right now what is about you and how you can learn, I have to learn too. My father was in the fourth, had a fourth grade education, but can read a ruler better than any engineer. And have taken people off the streets who are, can be considered winos and they can go to any job right now and get a job and or leave a construction site, if not build a home. So it's okay to listen. Because a lot of times y'all listen to people who ain't been through nothing. They ain't been through nothing. You might feel your own boy, you know him all damn, but he ain't been through like that. <laughs> what do you see what I'm saying? There's that, that, so much happening. Let me tell you something. You've been taught and heard that you are a minor, correct? Let me get y'all to help me out here. Now, why am I going to show you this law dictionary? Because didn't I say something about the law? Yeah. See, because that, that's what I started talking about from the beginning, right? Okay. Now, we think law is just something. It's just left to what we're reading religiously. But you can also read in Matthew and they'll tell you that to agree with your adversary quickly so they'll turn you over to the, the, judge, the lawyers and the judges. But if you don't understand what that means and how does that affect you, that same line affects you when you get in trouble and they create a foul on you to give you a felony. And then your mother loved you, your father loved you, but you was a little bit disobedient, so other people acted out of control to control you. Because of your disobedience, you're willing to not want to listen. Please, I want y'all to please understand what I'm coming to. See, this is real. See, we all have seen on YouTube and all on the Today Show across America how that SRO just came to slum that little sister all the way in the room. And we're just getting together saying, let's march, let's march, let's march. <coughs> and it's wearing the soles off of your shoes. But let me share something with you. Do you know who George Zimmerman is? Yes. Who is George Zimmerman? Say that one more time. The guy How many days in jail did he get? Mm -hmm. Alright, do you know anything about his father? No. He was a clerk, a magistrate. We're going to keep it real with you. Because this is happening every day, whether you know or not. But we want to put you in the know. So you can have some backing in your endeavors to become the next architect, the next historian, the next Beethoven who is black, the next Mozart who is black. But George Zimmerman did not do one day in jail. Why? Because his daddy was a clerk. So he understood something about the system to where he is. All he had to do was to pay a bond, and then we can do the rest like a reality show and treat it like a dog and pony show. Hip hop, love and reality, and hip hop. Y'all know all those fake shows to keep your mind distracted. That's exactly what that was. Why this young man is sitting here dead. Because it's something about the law that we don't know. We're not being taught. 
but yet the game is being played and we don't understand the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. We don't understand the but I'm just saying, let's keep it real. If I get you an Xbox and I give you a, a couple of games, you all will learn the rules of the game, right? Uh, let's, let's talk. Yeah. Let's, let's talk, right? I mean, I, I like that. I play with my son. I have a 13 year old son. I play with him every now and then. You know, just to try to keep up. I know he's not going to teach me all the rules. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I don't take time to read, I'm like, man, how you do that? I do it. Yeah, if I'll just do this right here. But yeah, he got the ball from you again. Okay, all right. I see how we're going to do this right here. So you see, I'm going to have to just change my strategy. And this is how you, you know, talk with your friends and now play on the internet. Again, when we had that, we didn't have the internet to play with somebody else that we didn't even know across the world, across town. So, just like the system is not really ready for some of this stuff, your mind is not really ready for this. Mm. See, this is that whole Generation Next move. If I keep pushing you like this, and then you thinking you know, but you're not taking time to listen to an elder, and you thinking you know that something will happen and it slowed you down, you gotta listen a little bit. But you've been taught this whole television programming to be like, I don't wanna listen, I don't care. I wanna try to, I gotta be like a, a, a Fetty Wap. Right? See what I'm saying? I gotta be like, uh, what's your boy, uh, uh, the guy locked up with uh, the, the uh, GS9 group? But I gotta be like Bobby Smyrna. You know, I gotta rap about all this killing. And we gotta show how much we got we can we can throw us out on the videos. And we can pull off how many murders and sell so much dope. And you say, you know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll up on y'all crew to see if y'all true to that. And right now today, none of them are out, are they? No heads all that that, that so-called star of the man. All behind a video camera because their mind has been distracted. We're talking about somebody 19, 18, 20 years old. And we can just go right up to the church street and see plenty of them. Us, misguided, heathens, devils, whatever names they want to give them. Blacks. Now, when they say blacks, they're not saying it. But the way y'all said it to me, you saying black means power, unity, melanin. They're saying black meaning thug, death, everything wrong with you. You're not born right. You ain't nothing. I'm going to watch you when you come into the mall. So I'm thinking you're going to steal something. I'm not thinking for you to be educated. You're just a nigga. You're a son of a nigga. See, this thing goes further back in history. We, we're talking about the 1712 Christian black codes, where every state had codes against people looking like you and I. Every state. You know how y'all can't come together on the corner without a cop riding by looking at y'all and say, well, what y'all doing? <laughs> it ain't just start, man. Right. This stuff ain't just start. Listen to some of the stories right here in Wasalon, which is called Winston Salem. Started by free men. Listen to the history and stories right here that this brother would tell you. The brick companies, the bus companies, the cab companies. We're talking about known all around the world. For being leaders, man. Being leaders. Winston Salem ain't just known for Chris Paul going to the NBA and Josh Allen and all of that. That's good. But guess what? None of these people are in the same profession. And have done and are doing great things. And continue to grow. So it, it, but guess what? They had something to go back. When we see people like Hot Moses the First, Thut Moses, Ursula Akra, Ramesh Murray Arm, who they called Ramses. See how short that, that name is? Ramses. But let's hear his real name, 
Ursa, Ma'at Ra. Ma'at represents the truth, justice, and righteousness. You got to be about truth, justice, and righteousness. See, you can't walk around here and say, I got a bored mind and go get in trouble. Now you, you go and be in dishonorable. We got to teach y'all how to remain in honor so you can learn and lead. And not be like Dr. Paul Anderson said right here, 1860. 99% of all black people work for whites. Today, 98% of all black people work for whites. You are enjoying a social illusion. It's an illusion. Just like when you watch The Wizard of Oz, you're in an illusion because you go to someone else's restaurant, but you don't own the restaurant yourself. Mm. So this is why I even tell the elders, okay, brothers, let's come together. The time is now to have our own K and W. Don't worry about the past. The time is now. All we have to do is aggregate our funds and credit together because I guarantee you what we're going to show them that people have been telling us about money, but we don't even know what money is. The system don't even call it money. The system don't even call it cash. They call it currency. So we need to start understanding currency so we can start teaching you what's currency, what's a note, what's a promissory note, what's a bank note. Don't you want to learn how to own your own business? So that means you want to learn about commerce. Okay? Now, I don't like what Michael Jordan is doing with a $600 pair of tennis shoes that put pressure on young men like you all to get robbed and killed for it. That's going to put pressure on your parents that's working hard to put clothes on your back and food in your stomach so you can grow up with some light and understanding. See, it puts pressure on you to try to have those KDs and stuff. Okay? So, but when Jordan did understand something about franchise, see, Jordan has made Nike what it was from back when I was your age, in the 80s, okay? When they had Spike Lee saying, and you can YouTube it. Well, it got to be the shoes. The old basic black and red Nike with the little wing on the side that they still selling it all for like $1.25, that we were getting for like $69 at the time. You see what I'm saying? Now he said, okay, I'm not shoes ball no more, but guess what? I'm a, since everybody like that Jordan brand when he's got the legs spread and the ball up like this, I'm going to take the very best players and give them their own shoe line. So now they're going to be the, 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 the heirs of the Jordan brand. So Carmelo got his own shoe line. KD has his own shoe line. Who else? Oh, oh, talk to it. See what I'm saying? All this coming out of Jordan. Now, Jordan making all this money. How much do you think Nike is making? If Jordan doing all of this with that Nike brand, what do you think Nike is making? Now I want you to bring in the fact that they were saying when they use the sweatshops where it takes about two to five dollars to make the shoes. Do you hear what I just said? Where it takes two to five dollars to make the shoes. And you over here under pressure getting killed for them can't work because somebody may beat you down and take you for what you have. Because images shape our reality. Images shape our reality. I just showed you an image that's used by companies like Steak and Shake. These are symbols of power. They know it because they use it. You think they just have it in their business? Do you think they're just using the sun on BP? Do you think they're just using the pyramids on Sitco? Where do you think they stole it from? Where do you think they stole it from? And put it right back in your face. Everything they're doing right now. You want to talk about beat machines? Let's talk about the beating of the drum. That's why you can hit a beat machine now and get the sound of a drum. Because the drum was power. 
Beethoven, Mozart, these brothers was healing people with the strings because the vibrations of the words mean something. That's why there's a difference when you say, well, I know about Ramses, or if I, you say, well, I know about Ursa Ma'at Ra, Setepin Ra, Murray Amen. That's a, that sounds like power. You understand what I'm saying? That there's a difference when they say, well, the three pyramids that was built was by Cheops and miscellaneous Greek names. But when you give you the real names like Khufu, Kafra, and Menkura, who look like us, it's a big difference in the vibrations of the sounds. There's, there's no question as to who built the pyramids. But the knowledge they was giving, everything they did, did for the Murray, because the term Murray means love. They did it for the love of God, for the love of the Most High. That's why what you saw in the heavens, you had it here on earth. You saw the three stars, what they call Orion, which is a sign of set. You have the three pyramids in alignment. Why do you think everybody had to come to Egypt? Why do you think everybody had to come to Egypt? To be like, like they say, like Mike, try to be like, everybody wanted to be like us. Everybody want to be like a winner. When you already using lasers and already inventing martial arts and showing them when they're using the staff and rod and everything already coming from us. Why is it that you want to reject this? If you reject this, you perish. If you learn it, you flourish. If you learn it, you flourish. Don't be afraid to be different. You don't have to hear it from a, a, a two chains. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Right? But he talking about being different to be what? Negative. Don't be afraid to be different, to be positive. So when you hear about Granville T. Woods, and we pick up these cell phones and call on the phones, and they tell you Alexander <coughs> Graham Bell invented the phone, lie. The same way they tell you Columbus discovered America, lie. <laughs> now you can tell them the truth. How do you want to discover something we already are here? The proof is in the pudding. The evidence is all over the world. The symbols are all over the world. You think it ain't the same? Here it, here it is. You see the Omex. Look at a TP if it's not a pyramid. And you see the spreading of the wings. It's the same people. But if somebody else is trying to put out your light and tell you, their story or his story, which is not the real story, then it's going to remain a mystery. It's going to remain a mystery. There's no difference in you and some of the Chinese youth and the Asian youth when it comes to mathematics. Another thing about M Hotel, except we're not putting the time there. It's in your genes. You know, if I tell you, come on, let's, let's go to the studio right now. Let's put together some songs. I got some nice young producers on fire, ready to go. They're down. They're ready to make a move. They're ready to make a difference. All we have to do is write. And then people ask you, oh, you write your own music? Oh, no. Who else supposed to do it? <laughs> but guess what? Just like Alexander Graham Bell, Bought the idea and the everything with the telephone from Granville T. Woods. They said Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Somebody would be ready to steal your ideas. Ready to steal. Justin Bieber would be nothing if it wasn't for Ludacris. Start looking at some of those of us, our leaders, who have brought others into the game. Okay? Now, go back and look at hip hop. Real hip hop. And what it was about bringing on unity, bringing on unity, that's what you said, right? Between the Latinos and the blacks, because they realized they were the same people, oppressed by the same people in the same region, 
living in the same slums. So they started coming together, dancing, break dancing. All I can show you some of the videos. I can show you Will Smith with a number one hit, no curse words. Okay? We got to keep it real. But see, that's right. Doug Williams said to a young man that was in the airport with his, with his grandson. He said, oh man, this is Doug Williams. And you might go out and go, who is that? I don't know who Doug Williams is. Even though he was a black quarterback before Cam Newton back in the 80s, they said that blacks couldn't win a Super Bowl and Denver won up by 10 points in the first quarter and after that it was an air attack. <laughs> he just put on a bomb, so all he did was just step back and just put on the air show. And the Redskins beat him 42 to 10. Blew him out. Blew him completely out. But Doug Williams saying, they, you, I can't expect you to know about him if I don't tell you about him and his greatness. If all you get is the same names and nothing against nobody, but I guarantee you there's some things about Michael King that you don't know, I mean Martin Luther King that you don't know. Did you get that? About Michael King? Mm -hmm. Who's Martin Luther King? That's his original name. Right. Okay. See, if we leave it up to the media again, if somebody else trying to tell you about your people and the greatness of your people to bring on division, yeah, Malcolm's going to be against Martin. Now let's, let's think about that. Here you have Mark Malcolm who was killed before Martin. So what was it that Malcolm knew in his power, in his enlightenment? Some of the same things Tupac knew knowledge. Tupac was a movement. He had people following and wrapping bandanas around his head from coast to coast and across seas. Malcolm was a movement. Once he got a whiff of his real history and who he was, he transformed from Malcolm X to El Hosbali El Shabazz. Now he said before the world, and they knew this, I'm standing before you live and resurrected. I'm a natural man. I'm a free man. And they knew this. That's why France, all this stuff they talk about France, Friends say, oh no, Malcolm, you can't land here. Keep on going. But I can show you and sit you down and let you listen to the FBI tape when Malcolm comes back in 1964 and the FBI comes to his house. He had a, 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 a tape recorder underneath his couch on the Gil Noble show. Come on, y'all know that show. They tell it tell like it is. Back in the day. See, I can show you this. And they asked him, Malcolm was, what did you really learn? How do you feel about Elijah Muhammad? Mm -hmm. We want to offer you six million dollars to sell your people out. Malcolm said, you insult my intelligence, my knowledge. See, that's the one thing they can't take from you once you got it, is mm -hmm. that knowledge. Mm -hmm. They can talk all they want, but once you got this, they can't take it. So their response to Malcolm was, well, you know we can get rid of people like you. Guess what? Didn't somebody say uh, Dragon Balls, he threw his, his hands up? When Malcolm got shot, what did he do? Did he duck? No. He got in the position of the car. Car, K-A means Christ, your inner God spirit. Now when Dragon Ball Z gets his power, he makes a statement. What's the statement that he says? When he goes into that meditative state, he makes a statement. He says, Kamiyamiya, right? Ka, what did I just tell you Ka means? Your inner God spirit. As Mary Mary would say, it's the God in me. It's called a car when you go back to what the ancestors taught for you to be learned about who you are. And when you was ready, as you elevated to different levels of discipline, you would have 
will recite, I have not, where they have turned and changed it to, thou shall not. You will have to show that you have won freedom over that type of discipline. That's why a man cannot reach the age of maturity until he was 40. And you had to get away, you had to meditate to raise your car to your bar, to your pioneer gland. So you can be ready and mature to be leaders of the day. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you, don't be afraid for the learning. You all are here for a reason. This ain't by chance. Trust me. Knowledge? Where my cards at? I got my cards right here. And I, this is one of my models, brothers. Knowledge is for those who seek it. It's for those who seek it. Tupac had this knowledge at the age of nine. Why should you wait? They're using Asian children at your ages right now to create the very games that we are spending 50 and 60 and 70 dollars for y'all to play with. Why can't we do it? Don't let somebody try to put out your life. You know, there was a little song we used to say back in the day that I used to hear. They say, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Now let's go back now and remember, it says, even the priest will not be before me because he has forgotten the law, and I forget that children also. So we don't take the time to teach y'all. It falls on us. Mm. It falls on us. Please understand it. But guess what? The same way they can try to uh, uh, entice y'all to say, well, we need soldiers. We need soldiers. Real soldiers. So, because you are sons of light, as they would say, a sorrow, right? Be ready to learn the information so you can learn about business. I can show you how to incorporate and don't give it to the state. I can show us how we can have our children continuously in their learning degrees and we don't have to incur that debt. Did you see the, 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 the guys out there? Uh, uh, in Oregon, uh, uh, trying to hold up the reservation for the, the natives there. And the natives was telling them, we, we, we don't need y'all to stand up for us. See, this is the same thing they did when they started coming over here in the 15 and the 1600s. They was called pilgrims. And you see the commercial right now by Direct TV, they was called settlers. You watch the Super Bowl, you see it right there, you go turn the TV on and they say, we're settlers. Look up the term. And to show you that we're operating out of trust. The same thing on that dollar bill saying that God we trust. The same, they're operating out of that same trust, just like Sun Trust, just like Bridge Bank and Trust. And every last one of them operating out of the trust, and they've been doing it since 1933. We have to begin to teach them the true ways of doing business.